Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Can you guess what we're making today? Mm. Well, yes, we're making bread and tennis roll using the same dough. So these are the ingredients we will be needed to use to make the bread and tennis roll. I um, have a recipe already on my channel for tennis roll using plain flour. Um, this version is with the bread flour. So here I have um, some bread flour that I already sifted. I have some room temperature milk. I have three eggs. I have my yeast here. This is the one I'm using. Um, I have some butter, salt, and sugar. So let's jump right into that process of mixing up our bread. I am using my stand mixer. Um, you guys can use your hand if you want. It's just that you have to make sure you work the dough really well and to you know mix it really well with your hands. In goes our milk. In goes our sugar our salt and then I'm gonna crack my eggs one at a time and add them in here as well I am NOT going to add the yeast and the butter as yet um, I'm gonna let this mix in a little bit before I add my yeast I want the salt to dissolve and mix in salt is a um, a yeast killer it usually kill the yeast so we got to be careful on how much salt we add and when to add it Everybody's in. I'm just gonna go ahead and start the mixing process so I'm gonna let this work in for a minute or two and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys as we add the other ingredients Here's my egg mixture with the sugar salt everything is ready for the yeast i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna dump my yeast in here and i'm gonna mix this in well before i add my flour yep i'm trying to get everything out So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna mix this up for a minute or two and then I'm gonna come back and add my flour. So guys, this is it. Our yeast um, been mixed in like a minute or so into this. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna dump all my flour in here and let that mix and become my dough. I'm not gradually adding anything, I'm just dumping everything in. let the mix in process begin so the butter is gonna go last and I'm gonna start this on speed one and I'm gonna let this mix for exactly three minutes and I'm gonna come back in three minutes and show you guys what it looks like guys this is what it looks like after mixing for three minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter into this and then I'm gonna increase the speed for one minute on speed four and let this the butter mix in and incorporate really well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what a dough looks like guys this is our dough I transfer it from our mixer and while mixing it if you guys see your dough is too too sticky you can go ahead and gradually add a little bit of flour just watch it it shouldn't be like extremely sticky and this is the perfect consistency look at that guys so what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna go ahead and knead this out a little bit more smooth it out and then I'm gonna transfer it and as you can see I flour my surface well so I'm gonna transfer this into a bowl and I'm gonna let this um, rest for one hour and it should triple in size I'm gonna come back and show you guys that process and then we're gonna get in to make our tennis roll and our bread. Guess what time it is, guys? My dough been resting in a warm place. I tuck it in my oven because it's always warm in there. And um, this is what it looks like. I divide it and put it in two bowls because it wouldn't have been 
this one bowl wouldn't been enough for it to rise so i'm gonna go ahead and one one of the dough we're gonna use to make our bread and one we're gonna go ahead and use for tennis rolls so let's start with the bread uh, my favorite part Pshoo! look at that guys yeah bread so i'm just gonna pull it out of the bowl and of course we gotta generously flour our surface and get this baby out and don't be afraid to work with your dough just add flour to it a lot of people are scared of sticky dough don't be afraid of the dough all dough is manageable just add your flour and you'll be fine that's what i always do and again guys baking is something very tricky sometimes you would do the same mixture and everything and it wouldn't give you the same result as you would get sometimes like sometimes you'll get perfect result and sometimes you would get like wacky result and you're gonna be like what happened what did I do wrong it's not you the yeast is funny sometimes it's all kind of variation so don't blame yourself if it doesn't come out good the first time try again if it doesn't come out good the second time try again so you see I'm basically kneading the dough back into a ball and all the pockets of air so what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna portion this in two so I'm gonna try to get two plat bread out of this dough so then I'm gonna go back one two and I'm just gonna do a little piece for um, the, the braid on top remember guys flowy surface and work your dough so we're basically rolling this out I'm trying to get it as smooth as I can. And there you have it. We're gonna go ahead and braid. So basically we're tucking the ends in. And here we go. Over. Nope. The first part always is the tricky part. As you can see, I'm not the best at braiding. <laughs> but all this long hair I have. So there we go. We're tucking the end in. And I'm just going to lose this back because I don't like how it looks. And play with you do. So there you have it. One of our plat bread is finished. I'm gonna go ahead, transfer this to our pan, and I'm gonna work on the other one. Then I'm gonna come back and show you the tennis roll. So guys, the final step to our bread is that little um, roll or, or whatever log that it this that you put on top to complete the bread. So that's what I'm doing here. So basically, we're gonna take our log and we're gonna put it straight across like that one into the other uh, tuck it in inside underneath so it doesn't come off and on goes the other one and what I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna put this back to poof in a warm place for me that will be my oven I'm gonna leave that to poof up in there rise up in there for one hour so this the bread is ready to the poof in process i'm going to put this cup um, put this inside my oven and now i'm going to show you how we make our tennis roll so i'm going to just drop this in and then we're going to start our tennis roll here is our tennis roll part of it i'm basically trying to get it out of our pan My 
daughter would die to be in the kitchen here with me and play with this though. <laughs> if I leave her, she would take over this bread making. So what I'm basically doing, I'm rolling it into a ball bag. And for this, we're gonna try to get at least 12 tennis roll out of this. So I'm gonna portion it out, um, into balls. I'm just cutting my dough out and I'm just averaging the size. If any look more bigger than any, I would just cut some out and add it to the other one. So basically, I'm gonna portion out the rest, but I'll show you how we form our, our ball. So flour, put it in the pan of our hand, and we're just roll and tuck, roll and tuck, roll and tuck it tightly. Smooth, round ball, flour the bottom, and I'm gonna transfer this into a glass baking pan I'm using. So roll and tuck, roll and tuck. I'm gonna finish the rest of my dough, come back and show you what our tennis roll looks like in our pan is it guys um i got 12 tennis roll out of this i'm gonna go ahead pop it back into the oven because that's my warm place you can pop it anywhere that is warm for you and i'm gonna let this rise for one hour and then we're gonna bake them off so guys this is what my bread and my tennis roll look like after poofing in the um, warm spot for one hour they're nice and fat like their mama <laughs> So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and base them with some plain milk. And then I'm gonna bake these off in the oven. I'm preheating my oven at 310 degrees and I'm gonna bake them off for um, 25 to 30 minutes. And again, everybody oven bake differently. So you have to know the way your oven bake and what temperature is good. But I, I would recommend, um, trying the 310 for um 25 to 30 minutes so i'm gonna come back and show you guys what our finished product look like so guys here you have it our finished tennis roll and our finished bread what i'm gonna go ahead and do i'm gonna lightly put some butter on top and i'm gonna take this out i'm gonna let it cool down in the tray a little bit and then i'm gonna take it out and transfer it to a wire rack and this is it this 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 is how it looks so i'm gonna let it cool down and then i'm gonna come back and show you guys what our finished tennis roll and bread look like inside so voila guys here you have it our delicious tennis roll and our bread so the beautiful part about it i'm gonna show you guys how it looks inside so let's just pull this baby apart look at that wow and look at this guys and look at the bottom perfectly cooked to the bottom perfectly golden brown at the top and now we're gonna just break into this let you guys see what it looks like inside look at that guys it's so fluffy i already had one with butter i cannot resist this tastes delicious i hope you guys try this recipe now let's go into our bread there you have it guys look at this perfectly soft and delicious i hope you guys enjoy this recipe please like and subscribe for more delicious amazing recipes from my kitchen to yours